Hey everyone, welcome to Ask a Property Manager, episode number 10. Today is March 4th, 2020. We're coming to you from the Own Buffalo Studios in Buffalo, New York. I'm Andrew Schultz, principal broker of Own Buffalo, Inc. Uh, today we're gonna be discussing a few ways to simplify your property management operation. And these are the type of things that could apply to one unit or 100 units or 1,000 units. It's just the stuff that makes your life a little bit easier. We're gonna talk about two different points, the first of which is going to be uh, maintenance type issues and turnovers, and the second of which will be more operational. And then at the end of the episode, we're gonna talk about an app that I just can't get enough of. Uh, it's an app that I use all the time. It's helped make my business life that much easier, and I wanna share it with you guys. So we're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna switch over to the desktop screen here. We're gonna talk about our first thing to make life a little bit easier. This is the Quick set 816 deadbolt lock. I personally love these locks. These are equipped with the quick set smart rekey technology, which makes it very easy for you to rekey one of these. Um, literally, it's 30 seconds to change the, the key associated with this lock. The feature that I love the most about this lock is the fact that it actually has two keyways. So this faceplate on the front you can see will rotate and it'll reveal a totally separate keyway so this is your tenant keyway. Um, this is just a standard KW1 key. You probably have a bunch of these on your keychain already. And then when you rotate it around, you're presented with a different keyway. You can't fit a KW1 in there. I think this is a KW3 or something along those lines. A little bit different keyway. So even if the tenant was to discover the second, uh, the second lock, they would not be able to stick their key in it or anything like that. These locks are great when you want to have constant access to uh, a property, but the tenants have to have their own key. This is great for a situation where you don't have an internet connection or Wi-Fi, so a digital lock might not be the best possible scenario. Um, we really like these. We have these deployed throughout our field in most of our buildings at this point, and it seems to work very, very well. Um, when you install these, the one thing I will mention is to put a passage knob in as opposed to a locking handle. Uh, and that'll completely prevent your lockouts. So it's, you know, if, so, if a tenant leaves an apartment and they have to turn around and lock their deadbolt on the way out of the house, there's no way for them to, unless they lose their keys, there's no way for them to lock themselves out of their apartment uh, with the keys locked inside. So that's, that's a nice tip to, to remember as well. If you're going to install these locks, switch to a passage style knob so that you don't wind up with a situation where a tenant locks their keys inside the unit. Switching to these locks and switching to a passage knob will prevent you from having that issue. Next thing I wanna talk about is paint. So if you're not aware, we use Sherwin-Williams paint. If you're not aware, if you own or manage a rental property, Sherwin-Williams actually has a special website and special corporate account set up for property managers and facility managers. I'm gonna jump back. This is just Sherwin-Williams.com up here in the upper uh, right hand corner, you'll hit select region, North America, US, and for property managers and facility managers in English, we'll switch that up. Um, and then you're presented with the website and they present you with different deals and stuff based on profession, whatnot. You're, if you own a rental or manage a rental, you qualify for a Sherwin-Williams corporate account, take advantage of that because they often have a lot of really good deals on things, you know, rollers and uh, five gallon buckets of paint, drop claws, things like that. They also offer discounted rental rates on their sprayers and things like that. So if you have to do like a big apartment turnover where you're doing a lot of painting and you wanna rent a sprayer, you might be able to get a better rate there through Sherwin-Williams with your account rather than going to like a Home Depot or a Lowe's or someplace like that. The one thing I did wanna mention with regards to paint colors is standardizing across your portfolio. So for instance, we use agreeable gray. There's a lot of people who are using gray. That's just what's on point here at the moment. So with this particular gray, I'm a big fan of this uh, gray because it's more of a grayish. And what I mean by that is if you put more gray around this, it'll show more of the gray tint in the paint. If you put more beige around this, it'll start to pick up more of the beige tint in the paint. So it's kind of an in-between going from the previous style of everybody wanted beige everything to now everybody wants gray everything. This was a nice way to transition from one color to another. And it really seemed to work out pretty well for us thus far anyway. Whoops, excuse me. 
pulling up my notes here on the screen. Um, Agreeable Gray has been great for us. We can get this right at Sherwin-Williams. We get this in an eggshell. You can also get it in the flat. Um, honestly, we used to do a little bit more with flat, and the reason we did it is because it wouldn't flash when you touched it up, so you wouldn't have to necessarily repaint an entire wall. Um, you could just touch up one or two spots if that's all you needed, and it wouldn't show. It really doesn't show with the eggshell, and it provides a little bit more durability and washability to the paint. So we have, we're using the uh, Agreeable Gray in an eggshell sheen, and that's been working very well for us. Uh, as far as ceiling paint, we just get the Sherwin-Williams or really whatever white ceiling paint, white flat ceiling paint, whether it's Bear or Sherwin-Williams or wherever we happen to be, we can just grab a white ceiling paint, and that's pretty straightforward. And then we typically just use a plain white in a semi-gloss on all of our trim, and that's just to protect everything a little bit better as, you know, when you're moving things in and out, it's very easy to ding woodwork, and putting the, uh, the semi-gloss gives it a little bit more of a, a shell, a little bit more of a protection. So the Agreeable Gray paint, that is one of my strong recommendations if you're looking for an interior color that uh, is neutral and still brings you kind of up into a little bit more modern look. So those are uh, the two maintenance-related things that I wanted to discuss. We're going to jump back over to... There we go. We'll jump back over to that. Grab my notes back again. Perfect. Uh, another point I wanted to talk about, more on an operational organization standpoint than a maintenance organization standpoint, is property management software. So there's literally pieces of different property management software. There's probably 30 to 40 different property management softwares out there in the market right now. And they all have different features and perks. They also all have different price points. But what they all do in common is help you to stay organized. Um, we're using Appfolio, which is more meant for like property managers and larger portfolios, things like that. It's, it does come with a monthly cost, so you're probably not going to want that if you only have one or two doors. Um, but the nice thing about Appfolio is that we basically can run the bulk of our business through that. It handles all of our tenant ledgers. Uh, tenants are able to make online rent payments with a bank account, a credit or a debit card. We're able to log all of our maintenance. We're able to log all of our work orders. All of our accounting is handled through the Appfolio software for our clients and so much more. I mean, it can do leasing, it can do screening, it can do, you know, it can publish your, your vacant rentals out to the internet, things like that. We don't use all of the features that are available in Appfolio, but we use a fair number of them and it really does help us to keep our business organized. And uh, it, it, the piece of software is only going to be as good as you are as an operator. So if you're not keeping the software up to date, it can't do it for you. So you really have to stay on top of uh, on top of it. I mean, we have it open every single day in our office. It's one of the first first tabs that opens in our browser when we come in in the morning. And that's how we keep our business organized. There are a few different softwares out there. I'm not going to sit and run through all of them at once. But if you're really looking for software that will help you to keep everything in one place, operate a little bit more efficiently, uh, maybe online rent payments is a priority for you. Some of the softwares that you could look at are Cozy, uh, Tenant Cloud, Appfolio, Buildium, Yardi. There's a bunch of them out there. Cozy and Tenant Cloud, I believe, are, are more geared towards the smaller uh, landlords that maybe only have a couple of doors or a smaller portfolio. And I think that the pricing is reflective of that. And it just kind of ramps up from there depending on what it is that you're looking to do, what you're looking to keep organized, etc. Um, to tie into that, I would also highly recommend using a Google Voice, I'm sorry, a Google Drive account uh, or a Dropbox or whatever to keep all of your files available to you in the cloud. There is an inherent security risk there when you're uploading things to the cloud. That being said, you know, most of these companies are running such tight security that it's more or less a non-issue. We've had all of our stuff in the cloud for an extended period of time now with no, uh, no issues that we have been made aware of at least. Uh, and that's what insurance is for. You can always get insurance for cyber attacks and things like that if that's something that you're really that concerned with. I've never had that concern. I've always felt very comfortable keeping uh, the majority of our business documentation in the cloud. And that means that I can access it from anywhere, whether I'm here in the office, whether I'm at my office at home, if I'm in the car, I have my laptop with me. You know, if I'm, I was in Atlanta for a conference a couple weeks ago, you know, and I had my laptop and I had all of my data right there with me. So just trying to keep as much 
you know, in the cloud as possible between property management software and some kind of a file organization system is going to make your job a lot easier as a property manager or property owner. Uh, a couple of apps that I can't live without. I don't really have a good way of showcasing these on the screen, unfortunately. Uh, but there are a couple of apps that I use all the time that have made a huge difference in my business. The first one, and I'm on an Android. I used to have an iPhone, uh, but both of these both of these apps have Android and iPhone versions. So the first one is called Cam Scanner. Very simple app. It'll let, let you take a picture of a piece of paper, a receipt, something like that. Um, you then draw a box around the area that you want to keep. So if you take a picture, you know, maybe you've got a, a look at my frame here. Maybe you've got a photo, but you only need this portion of it. You draw a box around the area that you need to keep, and that'll convert to a PDF where you can email it out to yourself, to an accountant, to whoever needs a file. You can upload it to your, to your Dropbox, your Google Drive account to help yourself stay organized. Just makes it so much easier. Now you're not running around looking for a scanner every time you need to scan something. You can take a picture of it with your phone, convert it to a PDF, which is obviously the most widely recognized and widely used file format for transmitting things via email or uploading or what have you. Super easy and it is free. Um, if you use the free version, it puts a little watermark down in the bottom corner of your of your image, of your PDF file. You get the paid version for, I think, three bucks or something like that to take the watermark off of it. It's a great app, good to have in your toolbox, super useful, um, definitely one to keep installed on your phone. The other app I wanted to mention is Google Voice, which you can install on either Android or iPhone. I haven't had an iPhone in a lot of years, so I don't know what the functionality is like on iPhone at this point, but I know on Android it's actually really nice. Uh, what Google Voice does is it gives you an extra phone number, which you can forward to, say, your cell phone, or if you're out of town and somebody else is handling things, you can forward it to them, you can forward it to your office, or, or what have you. Um, you can have it ring multiple locations simultaneously. You can have it do all sorts of things. Comes with a voicemail, has texting, SMS, and MMS capabilities. It's a nice way to basically give yourself a second phone number that you can still use from your cell phone while still maintaining the privacy of your personal cell phone number. I have been using this for years. I've been using this since back before it was Google Voice, before Google owned it. Uh, it was a company called Grand Central. Uh, and I had a number way back then. And it had to have been, I'm going to guess sometime around 05, 06 that I started using the service. I've never paid a cent for it. Um, now that Google owns it, um, I anticipate that it'll probably be either free or included with our Google Business Suite software for the foreseeable future, but it is wonderful. It's a totally separate number, totally separate app on my phone, uh, keeps my, my business communications and my personal communications separated out that way, and it allows me to set separate rules. So, you know, for times when I'm not in Buffalo, if I need things forwarded to the office because I'm not available to handle them, it's as simple as like two or three button clicks and then the number's forwarded and I don't have to worry about it. So that would be a strong recommend, Google Voice. Uh, oh, and on the Android, the nice thing is like if I go to make an outbound phone call, it pops up a little message. Do you want to use your regular phone number or do you want to use your Google Voice phone number? So you can use it inherently as you would just your normal cell phone and it'll still display the correct caller ID when you call someone. So if you're calling somebody about uh, you know, a rental or whatever, you can display the correct number on your outbound caller ID so that they always get the correct number and you're not sharing your personal cell phone even when you're making a business phone call. So that's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, definitely check those two apps out. Cam Scanner and Google Voice, big game changers if you are working in the property management industry, really just in any business whatsoever where you want uh, the ability to, to separate your work from your personal and to be able to take photos and convert to PDF at a, at a rapid pace. Really convenient to have that stuff in place. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Jump over to our social media page here. Uh, we really do love producing Ask a Property Manager. The best way that you can help us improve is by leaving a comment or asking a question. Um, that's the type of stuff that will help push us up so that other people see our content as well. And if we can answer a question for you, that's all that much better. We do these every Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You'll find them on Facebook. They upload onto YouTube usually the same day. Uh, so you can catch that over there as well. If you're not following us on Facebook, the address is facebook.com slash buffalo foreclosed homes. 
And to subscribe on YouTube, head over to our website, ownbuffalo.com, click on the YouTube link and hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to that magical 100 subscriber mark so that we can customize our URL with them. Uh, don't forget, you can always grab a free 30-minute consultation with me over at ownbuffalo.com. Um, that's not a sales pitch. It's not anything like that. It's just me trying to help people answer questions that they may not be able to find the answer to themselves. Uh, feel free to grab that. We love doing those little 30-minute consults. It's a no-pressure thing. You don't have to be in the Buffalo market. You can be nationwide. We just like helping out whenever possible. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, or if I brought some value to your day, do me a favor, throw us a like. It does help other people see us. Uh, and if you found value in it, surely someone else will as well. Next episode is going to be next week, March 11th. That'll be a Wednesday at 10 a.m. And the topic will be the recap of the PMM Con out in Las Vegas. So when this episode goes live on March 4th, I will actually be out in Vegas attending that conference, which is why this one is a pre-record and not a live one. Uh, but we are looking forward to coming back to you live next week, discussing everything we learned out in Las Vegas at the Property Management Mastermind Conference. Uh, so be sure to tune in for that one. And as always, guys, have a great week and we'll see you next week.